Hello friends please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the videos. Thank you for your support. Bentley's first plug-in hybrid sedan sacrifices some refinement on the road to electrification. The trickle of electrons at Bentley is soon to become a flood, as the automaker prepares to fully electrify its entire lineup by the end of the decade. While eventual full electrification is a goal shared industry-wide, it's a rather monumental shift for Bentley, whose reputation has been defined in large part by its massive, and thirsty, engines. Hence the existence of the Flying Spur Hybrid, a 5,754-pound stepping stone placed between the shores of those gargantuan powertrains and the horizon of total electrification. As befits this interim role, visual changes are kept to a minimum, with only fender-mounted, hybrid, badges and a J1772 charging port concealed behind a door on the left rear flank. Distinct quad oval tailpipes complete the exterior transformation. Inside, the infotainment and driver screens now feature EV-specific readouts. We were particularly intrigued by the EV range overlay function on the navigation map. A translucent green zone hovers over the vehicle's position, outlining the boundaries of electric driving range. As the battery level drops, the zone shrinks accordingly. On the center console, an EV button cycles through the three electric drive modes, all-electric EV drive, hybrid, and hold, which maintains battery charge to be deployed later. The flying spur follows in the footsteps of the Bentayga, which first tiptoed into the hybrid waters back in 2019 as Bentley's first electrified model. Both employ plug-in systems, as the large battery delivers motivation that a regular hybrid can't provide. Here, the Flying Spur uses a 410 HP version of the corporate 2.9-liter twin-turbo V6. It's the first six-cylinder found under the hood of a Bentley sedan in 64 years. A 134 HP electric motor occupies the space between the engine and 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. With a combined output of 536 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque, the hybrid powertrain delivers numbers on par with its rowdier flying spur Big Brother's 542 HP V8. As a result, the hybrid's performance is pretty similar, despite a 280-pound weight disadvantage. With both motors singing and all four wheels pulling, the Flying Spur Hybrid hit 60 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds and covered the quarter mile in 12.3 seconds at 114 miles per hour. We recorded a 3.5 second time for the Flying Spur V8, along with a 12.0 second, 115 mph pass in the quarter. Top speed is limited to 177 miles per hour, versus 198 for the V8. While Bentley emphasizes that the EV system is optimized for urban journeys, it also touts the hybrid's ability to cruise at speeds up to 80 miles per hour in EV drive mode. The EPA reckons that the car's 15.0-kWh battery is good for 21 miles of electric range. Yet, electrons carried us for 35 miles on our 75 mph highway test, after which the hybrid averaged 28 mpg, beating its federal highway rating by 6 mpg. However, our 25 mpg measurement overall is well short of the hybrid's official 46 mpg combined rating which essentially indicates we drove more gasoline-powered miles between plug-ins than an actual owner would. The joy of electric thrust lies not in its mechanical voice, but in the absence of it. Bentley says that the cabin of the hybrid is 50% quieter than that of the V8 at 50 miles per hour. On its own, the hybrid's electric motor produces 295 pound-feet of torque, all of which is available from a dead stop. It's more than capable of sustaining the big Bentley's momentum through traffic. It also helps the hybrid post a 4.7 second run from 5 to 60 miles per hour, which is only a tenth of second longer than what the V8 requires. When rolling along in EV drive mode, the flying spur hybrid provides a marvelous glimpse of what an all-electric Bentley might be like. It's only when you sample hybrid mode that this graceful serenity is upended. Prod the accelerator and the V6 unceremoniously crashes the party with 74 decibels of noise at full throttle, 
1 decibel more than the V8. Gruff and guttural, the engine's unrefined character is in total contrast to the rest of the underlying package. We found its presence to be particularly obtrusive when in hold mode, droning away constantly at what amounted to a heightened idle speed. Occasionally, the gas engine and electric motor jockeyed for position, resulting in a brief hiccup as the computer scrambled to make peace between the two, and a pronounced transition between regular and regenerative braking made it difficult to smoothly modulate to a stop.